You know, my kids the other day, they were joking around, was like, Dad, you really do like beer. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of my career. Uh, the special thing for me was also having my dad there as well, too, uh, for my first Father's Day. So it was just, it was just really cool. It just wasn't uh, my dad and I, it was now my son as well. There's a lot that can be said about fathers. Maybe they taught us to wrestle, to fish, to be tough, or to play catch. And maybe they taught us to laugh, to cry, and tickled us until we did both. Dads told us stories and taught us it's okay to be a total goofball. For the fathers and father figures in our lives, Father's Day is a time where we say, Dad, this one's for you. I'm Jeremy Storton. I'm an advanced Cicerone and the host of the Good Beer Matters podcast. I've partnered with Brewery DB to bring you a taste of brew knowledge. A Taste of Brew Knowledge is a series of videos to help you cook with and pair great beer with excellent food. In this video, we're going to talk to dads in the beer industry about the perfect pairings of activity, food, and beer for Father's Day. Uh, I have one kid uh, right now, and then we have another one um, due on April 3rd. So uh, one boy right now and another boy on the way. I'm a, I'm a new father, been a whirlwind for the last couple years, uh, but it's been pretty exciting, um, especially now that she, you know, kind of starting to do, you know, understand dada, she hears the garage door open and she's upstairs and does dada. We've got two kids, uh, both in the uh, elementary age, uh, school age. I love the fact that both my girls are different, but the same. Um, our little guy Porter, which is the business is named after, he likes to squeegee the floor while I'm making a mess. I have four children aged three to nine. Uh, in that mix, I've got three boys and one girl. She falls right in the middle. She's seven. She's the firecracker of the group. She keeps us all to going. That's for sure. Robin and I have two kids, uh, an older daughter, younger son. Our daughter's 21. Our son is 18, both in college. At the end of the day, um, I think uh, with having kids and, and alcohol, uh, it's important to raise them with a proper respect for it. Um, I, I want them to learn that you know that life isn't always easy. I need to want to go support the brewery that I was working for, Wild Ride at, at events, but dragging along a three-year-old, a four-year-old. Beer is such a social thing, and children are such a social thing. So I think, for my take, you know, a lot of players in town have have a great. I think vision of, of integrating that, uh, beer and children. Uh, my oldest son is nine. I've got pictures of him looking out this window at our brew system from the first year Good Life opened. And I've got videos of him on our tables, shouldn't say this, but totally dipping fingers in some sweet abs and sucking his fingers dry. You know, and then at the same time, it's like, well, once I have two or three samples, <laughs> I can't have no any more anyways. There's no Uber with the car seat, <laughs> you know. Right. That's my biggest struggle is juggling free time, getting free time to actually spend more free time with the kids because the business takes up so much time because we're still fairly new. You know, with moderation, I think it goes, you know, very well together uh, because both of them are so social. So we instill hard work through, you know, just the, through our example um, and hoping that they see that. And exactly, hence why we drink beer or work in beer. You know, uh, I'd say mainly relax, uh, uh, enjoy a mellow uh, um, Sunday. I want to sleep in past 630 would be great. I'd like to sleep in maybe till like 7.30, It'd be kind of nice. Um, and then I kind of just want to mosey around the yard, honestly. Yeah. Maybe do some fishing if the, if the rivers are flowing good, that'd be great. On Father's Day, one thing I absolutely love, especially being in Central Oregon, is we're always going outside to play. Uh, my wife and I are originally from the coast, so anytime we can be near a body of water, we're, every Father's Day we make it out to a lake or a river. Um, I feel like, like Robin, I kind of want to relax as much as I can. Uh, go from, uh, you know, outdoor setting to something going to do fun, adventurous, but take a beer with you. 
And then, uh, you know, that day, I, I just, I, I'm gonna be uh, a father of two at that point. So ideally, it'd be uh, throw the little one in the pack, throw him on my back, get the dog, and uh, grab my wife and the other little guy and go for a hike. That's, that's kind of ideally what we'd like to do. So what I want to do is get up in the morning, uh, take either a salmon or a steely from a buddy of mine, and uh, throw it in the brine a couple days beforehand, be pulling that out of the brine, throw it on the smoker at like 7 in the morning, uh, pull that thing off around 10 o'clock, maybe, you know, have some, package it up, you know, after it's rested and whatnot. Uh, so what I, I want to, I want to eat maybe, uh, maybe some smoked ribs or smoke a brisket, something like that. Um, I think uh, it probably will end up being a brisket. It'll take a long time, but um, I don't mind doing, you know, even if it's Father's Day, I love doing something like that, uh, where I'm, I'm doing the cooking on that part, as long as I'm not having to do all the side dishes and, and that kind of thing. There is something sublime about going to a brewery or a food cart where they've got 15 to 30 beers on tap for mom and dad to choose from. And, you know, you sit down at a table, you have multiple options of food to choose from. So we all, we all have kids, we all know picky eaters. So I love the food cart aspect because you can pick and choose a few items here and there. Uh, I love barbecuing. So I, I don't mind grilling up burgers. Maybe we'll make some ribs, maybe we'll make a steak. It's, you know, it's one of those things where I like to throw something on the, on the barbecue. But if the weather doesn't really permit, then we'll, we'll hit up a, a, a favorite food truck spot or a favorite restaurant, at least for dinner. It's kind of frowned upon if you bring your beer to a park. So when you go to a food cart lot, you get up like, all right, I get to have that beer while the kids get to run around and play. You know, what I want to eat is definitely, I'd say, something on the grill. Uh, steaks, have some grilled asparagus, uh, maybe do surf and turf with it, you know. Uh, you know, get some, some lobster tails and grill that and throw it on top. Get some hollandaise sauce and, and then, uh, you know, try to limit, you know, save the carbs for a beer. Um, as for food and beer, I would have to say pancakes and waffles in the morning and then for dinner a Scottish meat pie with a wee heavy and a scotch chaser, single malt. Yep, that's what I, that's what I look forward to. I'd start with probably, you know, something light if I'm grilling out there. I'd have a German Pills, maybe a cream ale, cool water as well, our River Mark Pills out there as well. Um, so we're going to have something sessionable on a warm day. Since it's summertime, most likely it'll be Bavarian lager or sweet as. It'll just kind of depend on how I'm feeling that day, but it'll either be Bavarian lager or sweet as, or one of the two that I'll have, or maybe I'll have one of both. So I like to bring the Kolsch home and drink that with, uh, with a nice big steak and uh, maybe a salad on the side. So I'm hoping by, by uh, mid-June, mid I guess is Father's Day, uh, the Kolsch will be probably my, my beer of choice. Uh, but with something like that, it would definitely be a, a, a darker beer, definitely would be Belgian. Um, maybe a dark strong or a quad roche for 10 or, uh, or a app 12, something like that would be just phenomenal. It would go really well with that, I would think. So that's what I want to do. And I'm always drinking Sweet As or our Bavarian Lager. Just easy drinking beers where I can have a couple and still be around. It does go with a lot of different things, uh, whether it be a, like I said, salad, veggies, fruit, light fish, or dark meat, you know, you can kind of wash it down with anything. So yeah, we're keeping it Kolsch. <laughs> then for dinner, maybe move into something a little bit more malt forward that pairs better with the uh, steak and the Amber Lager would be pretty delicious with it. This Father's Day, whether you're at the beach, the golf course, the garage, or the grill, open a cold one for dad. Just make sure it's a good cold one, paired with the food that will let him know how much you appreciate him. To fathers everywhere, and especially to my dad and the men that make me want to be a better father, thank you. Just remember dads, there's a world of craft and culture found in every beer. Your Father's Day glass awaits. Also, both do very well bouncing ideas off each other and getting things done um, and complimenting each other. So nice, honey. Did you pass? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can sleep in the bed tonight, not on the couch. <laughs>